Hello everyone, Pally Time here. Welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. Uh, kind of a different intro today because I stopped my audio recording on accident. We are on uh, the Garden Terror map. We're playing Chen today. Chen was a character that was... You can't even see his face. Come on, Chen. Don't be bashful. Chen was a character that has been adjusted quite a lot. Uh, basically, before he could jump in with his kick, deal a ton of damage, root people in place... Uh, and then split off in a thousand directions with his ultimate. And Blizzard decided that was a little ridiculous. So I have a new build for him today that we're going to be trying out. I've never done it before. This is actually my first time playing Chen since the changes, since the patch. Uh, so don't be surprised if it goes, like, really ridiculously well, okay? Don't, don't be too surprised. I mean, on paper, it's actually a really good build. That was a great zombie wall. Even though it didn't catch the enemy team, it still put him way out of position. And now I'm going to be able to just right-click down the enemy Nazebo. And we can jump in on Diablo and make sure he doesn't get his way as well. There we go. Double kill down in the bottom lane to start the game off. My Q ability is Flying Kick. This allows me to jump to a target. Uh, my W ability, and deal some damage, by the way. W ability, keg smash, deals a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of damage. But then we can use our E ability, which is ignite, and then deal damage over time on something that we just keg smashed. So you're basically supposed to use those abilities in unison. Chen does not have a mana bar. Instead, he has a brew bar. He can only do abilities if he's drank recently from his, well, not recently, but if he's had a sip of his keg which is this yellow bar underneath my health bar. Um, I really like Chen, as I've, I think I said. I, I used to play him quite a bit, but he was adjusted a lot, and I just haven't had a chance to revisit him yet. Uh, so the build today is going to focus on control, and it's going to focus on being super-duper, oh my god, what the fuck kind of tanky as the game progresses. So I'm going to be really relying on my team to do the majority of the work, top or bot. Let's start communicating. Let's let's figure out where they want me to go. No one said anything yet. Okay, so I guess we're going to keep chipping away. We should go help with this, I guess. I'll ping that I'm on my way. And we can go help with this. The enemy Nazebo actually deciding to stay in the lane and push. Uh, at this level range, I think we're going to go with some amplified healing. Which is going to allow me to basically increase my regenerate... Oh, that zombie wall is so close. Increase the regeneration effects on my character. And basically, as we continue to get Regeneration Master, it'll heal us for more. And then we do also have a Brightwing on our team, so the Brightwing's heals are going to be healing us for more as well. Jumping in here, we are going to try to zone out the enemy tank. The enemy Sergeant Hammer, I guess I should specify. Jumping in on Diablo there, we are going to get another kill. I could probably get a decent body block here. I sure can. <laughs> Just trying to, to harass the enemy team back while the friendly team is getting the Garden Terror. A good zombie wall is going to capture ETC. We're going to jump back in with our flying kick and take him down. There's a zombie wall behind me from the enemy, Nazebo. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Why don't you uh, go on get? Oh, the stun from Toronto may kill me, but a good shield from the friendly Tassadar will sustain me just a little bit longer. I am drinking from my keg to try to stay alive. Sagara not helping at all. Map awareness, ladies and gentlemen. Map awareness. The golem is about to die, but not before it slams a ton of damage down on the enemy Tyrande. Can we run in here and get some of the seeds? I think we got some of them. I am in pursuit on my way back on the money pig. We will get there a little bit late, though. I think this fight's going to pretty much dissolve by the time we get there, as most of the damage dealers for the enemy team are being pushed back. Really nice placement on that healing totem there to keep the, the friendly team alive. Um, we're going to try to body block the enemy ETC as much as we can as he's escaping. But more or less, we're done with this confrontation, and we probably should cycle down to bottom lane. Uh, bot Golem? Question? Question mark? Should we get Bot Golem? Looks like Zagar is on the way. All right, here we go. The enemy team has not caught wind of this yet. We see actually they're starting to move down now. So we are going to have a team fight here. Get ready, B-Wing. I hope, you're, I hope you're watching. Tassadar does use his Oracle to grant us a little bit of vision. And why are you all backing out when it's almost dead? Oh, don't worry. I'll just, I'll get it. I got it. Don't worry. 
Uh, I'm going to be sitting here attacking the enemy siege tank with everything I got, and then as he tries to jump away, we are going to hit him with a flying kick, which is going to body block him momentarily. Was just long enough to secure that kill. Jumping in front of Diablo now, trying to do the same damn thing. I'm trying to be the biggest obstacle in the world. And actually, it's working out really well. Uh, I am going to be getting the Garden Terror for the friendly team. At this level range, I think the best talent now is actually going to be the Brewmaster's Balance. It looked really, really interesting, so I wanted to try it out. The Brewmaster's Balance was not in the game before. Uh, essentially, we'll just use my E and run middle. Uh, while at 50 or below with our Brew, we gain a 20% movement speed. While above 50 Brew, which we can hold... 400? I don't know. That's not right. That's something with the Garden Terror. Basically, when we have a high amount of drink in our system, we're going to regain more health. When we don't have as much drink in our system, we're going to run a little bit faster. Which I think is actually really accurate to real life. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try to siege this down as best I can. The enemy team in closing in on me, so we don't want to commit too much to this. But the friendly team should be arriving fairly soon as well. Polymorph going out is going to hit the enemy Diablo. And maybe I should peace out here? I'm not too sure. I guess it all depends on who they decide to focus. Uh, we have a good position there. We can polymorph Sergeant Hammer as she just went into siege mode. Uh, we might actually be able to get this fort down with the help of the team. This is uh, pretty one-sided, though. Zagar is still pushing middle lane. So the only person the enemy team doesn't have here is their Nazebo. But we're, we're hanging on pretty well. I'm going to back out now and run middle because I think I have enough time to get one more flower off by the time I get there. And we're actually going to be picking up the Wandering Keg, because I don't believe I've ever used it in a video, and I would like to, since we're revisiting Chin. Uh, we are going to put that flower right in the middle of the enemy base. A good polymorph is going to hit Diablo as well, so he's going to have nowhere to go in just a moment. I am now out of the Garden Terror, and we're going to chase him down and pick up a kill. Uh, going to jump in front of Tyrande. Going to jump in front of... T oh, come on. We're not going to jump in front of Toronto then. Uh, okay, we're going to jump in front. Oh, come, come on! Come on, jump in front of her! Okay. Okay. I'm getting body blocked here, so we're just going to have to use our ultimate and disengage. This is the Wandering Keg. It will push people around all over the place. It gives you a massive amount of increase to your movement speed. And it looks like our Zagara uh, may fall here, but not before I tried to save her, damn it. I'm here to help, as Jaina would say. Okay, we got out of that pretty pretty well. Uh, we are level 10, the enemy team, or excuse me, we are level 11. The enemy team is level 10. Uh, we are not getting XP in the top lane, but pretty much at this point in the game, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let us move in with the team here. Maybe we can help out with a team fight. Uh, we're 7 and 1 right now. Your damage is never going to be that great on Chen, no matter what build you go for. Uh, but right now, my build is definitely not focused on dealing damage. My build is focused on body blocking and trying to set up plays for the team. Like this one right here. Like this one right here. Oh, man. So good. Oh, the Vengeful Spirit coming out from the friendly Nazebo is going to pick up the kill on the enemy ETC. As I did slow him down. And now what we can do is just try to soak up as much ammunition from this fort as humanly possible. While we're drinking from our keg, we are going to be getting bonus shields. Why am I so slowed? Holy crap, that seemed like it lasted forever. Uh, we are going to be starting on the bottom seeds to try to cap these off. Looks like the enemy team is already starting on the top seeds as they're... No, they were down here, weren't they? I think they were actually at both. All right, if we want to go for this, I am more than okay to do that. Let's go ahead and drink out of our keg. We're not going to be taking any damage at all while we're doing this. And we're actually being he being healed by the healing totem that uh, Tassadar laid down. This guy hasn't gone for a smash yet. Is he bugged? Oh, there we go. <laughs> all right, so we are going to take down the bottom terror. That's going to give us another garden terror that we can use. At this level range, fortifying brews shields nearby allied heroes. This has always been one of my most favorite talents in the game, uh, just because it allows Chen to not only be super tanky, but also support his team at the same time. The keg coming out. Would you guys kindly get the fuck out of the way so we can steal this from you? If you don't mind, that would be great. And we're just going to continue to basically hard initiate against these guys. If Diablo wants to continue to focus this down, he can, but his team is not with him. Uh, I'm going to be forced to jump this way, shield, 
Uh, we've been forced out of the shield, but I can get a lot of these seeds. Why, yes, I can. The Vengeful Spirit coming out. We're going to continue to drink. Oh, uh, jump on this side. Yes. Yes, continue to drink. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We were interrupted. Tassadar coming in with the shields, though. Are we going to be okay? I'm drinking. I'm drinking, Tassadar. Keep me alive. Re-engaging on Zemo. We are going to take him down. Drink, drink, drink. Oh, the hero of the drink. Yes. Yes. And we walk away as if nothing happened. Oh, shit. That was exciting. <laughs> All right. We're going to push down this middle tower with this giant minion wave that we have going on right here. I believe this is the bright wing. Oh, I'm lightheaded after that. Who the fuck is this? This is Zagara. <laughs> Decided to get the terror and push down the bottom lane with it, which is a great idea. I'm just going to tank this for the friendly team. So, uh, the idea behind this build is we're going to be shielding a lot. The shield is going to be going to our allies. Uh, this number is not accurate. Uh, it's going to be going to our allies, and it's going to be helping them survive in fights. At the same time, while we are in the shield and we are shielding our allies, we're also going to be regenerating our own health with the talents that we've picked up so far. Uh, Zagara going really deep when she had no health left on that thing and is going to be taken down. And we need to be basically in a full retreat at this point. I can help! Run, everybody! Run! Okay, I zoned a little bit. That's all I needed to do. Let's keep disengaging. You can do some really cool plays with that keg. Uh, the reason a lot of people are picking the keg over the uh, Storm Earth and Fire now is because they put a cast time on the Storm Earth and Fire where it can be interrupted. Oh, we need to engage here, try to peel for Nazebo so he can get as much damage out as he can. That was actually a pretty decent ultimate, all things considered. I'm going to continue to pursue with him, try to zone for him as much as I can, but he was taken down. I don't think shielding would have been the right thing to do in that situation because they would have just forced him out of my shield. I don't think it would have been enough healing. So I think I actually did play that pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and engage on Taronda here. We might be able to take her down. Decent knockback by... Oh, ETC actually went in with his mosh pit ultimate there. And no one on his team responded to it. I feel your pain, man. I feel your pain. I know what that's like. Uh, we are going to be... Okay, this is the hard one. This is the hard one, okay? So bonus damage on your next auto attack after your flying kick is really good. That's a way to get a ton of damage out of the panda and really be able to focus down people that you're chasing down. Um, I should not be doing this without selecting my talents. This is getting silly. Uh, we, could dis we can hard disengage in just a few seconds. He actually put me into the zombie wall here. Uh, we're going to be fine, though. Uh, so the other alternative, which is also another really, really good talent, is the pressure point, which is after you kick, you basically root a target in place. You used to be able to get both of these talents, so they moved them around. Uh, it, it really hurt Chen's damage. Really, really, really hurt Chen's damage. Uh, and you could just see how ridiculous my health regen is with that. Holy... No, that was Sippy Cup too, wasn't it? Okay, yeah, that was Sippy Cup. Don't get ahead of myself. Okay, I've been talking about these talents way too long. So, uh, I want to get increased shields, which sounds weird. But these shields are also going to be given to my allies as well. So it's more of a supporty talent. It's more of a supporty way to play him. We're trying to be like a health regen troll over here. We're going to get so much health regen that the enemy team is not going to be able to kill us at all. Why would they ever focus us ever? They wouldn't. And because they're not focusing us, we're going to be able to keep our allies alive so much longer than, uh, than normally they would be able to survive. I think it'll be pretty good. Like I said, this is my first time actually testing it out. I'm just going to deep engage into this and distract these two guys while there's a team fight going on right below me. So we're going to start healing. We're going to start healing. There's the fire breath. That's bad. That's bad. Start healing again. We're going to get interrupted here in just a moment. There we go. So we can jump this way. Slow down ETC. Start healing again. St oh, he interrupted my heal! Okay, in my head that fight was going to play out very differently. It looks like by me not being with the team, they were actually pushed back. I'm not sure by who. Because I thought I, I thought keeping two guys distracted here was going to be more than adequate. Uh, we have Brightwing taking a ton of damage. Oh no, oh no, the Wombos! 
Uh, if we go ahead and look at my stats, my health regeneration per second is 85.37. So essentially, we are ridiculously tanky. It's going to be very, very hard for the enemy team to kill us. They're going to have to focus their stuns on me, which if we get a good team fight going, them stunning me is really, really good if they choose to go with that. If they don't stun, if they do stun me, rather, that means Nazebo is going to be able to free cast his Vengeful Spirit. That means Tassadar is going to be able to walk out there with his Archon and deal all kinds of fucking damage. So, uh, that's the best case scenario. Uh, if they do not stun me, we have the shields to keep everyone alive. So, really, either way, I think uh, we're being pretty effective. I think. I don't know. You, I can let you guys decide, I suppose. Uh, let's go in here and try to help get this terror. We got Mercs doing work, Tassadar says. Let's go ahead and shield Nazebo as he was rooted. You could see Nazebo didn't take any damage from those roots because of our shield. Not bad. Not bad. I've always really, really, really liked that talent. I think it's one of the better talents in the game, honestly. Because you're always drinking out of your fucking keg as chin anyway. You might as well help other people out while you're doing it. We do have a Garden Terror growing. Um, I'm just going to go tank this right now. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to go try to help engage here. Jumping in on Toronto Whisperwind. Uh, we are going to deal a ton of damage to her. That's going to force her out. I say ton relatively. It's actually not a lot of damage at all. Uh, now I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to shield for Tassadar. He's going to be okay. Going to try to body block the obvious escape out for ETC, which I did just fine. And now jumping in. Oh, we need to jump in. Oh, okay, never mind, never mind. We're going to help out Zebo, who's being attacked by ETC right now. The Vengeful Spirit did end. Oh, jump it! We're going to slow down Diablo. I don't know why they would kill Diablo. They wouldn't. Oh, come on. Oh, fuck it! Oh, go back here, Diablo! I'm tired of chasing you motherfuckers around! All right, now we're going to drink out of the keg. We're going to jump back in. Come on, jump back in! Jump back in, damn it! Oh, <laughs> We forced him to use his abilities on us, and now we're going to drink, and he's going to die. Look, 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 look. There he goes. There he goes. The auto attack from Nazebo was enough to secure the kill. We have a Garden Terror in the base up top doing all kinds of shit. All right, this is going well. So, to make our Trolly Troll health gen rebuild thing go even better, we're going to get Hardened Shield, which is a new talent to the game. I'm just going to walk up here and tank this. Tell me I can't. Tell me I can't. Uh, this is going to allow us to reduce the damage we take by 75% for four seconds so if we do get caught out without this amazing shield we're gonna be able to just sit here with hardened shield on and wait for this shield to come back and that's basically the plan you can see i have not taken any damage at all from tanking a fort and my team's just walking in right now and they're gonna take it down we're gonna have how much shield can we go that's a very good question we're gonna have the catapults pushing every single lane i'm just gonna stand right here keep shielding and now maybe we should focus Taronda. No, let's go in on the tank. Let's go in on the tank. Jumping back in. We're going to shield again. We're going to keep this Tassadar alive. We are getting crowd controlled by ETC. Or by Diablo, actually. Uh, we're just going to shield right here as well. Look at the disrespect. Our shield was more than adequate enough to keep up with that. We're going to peel for Nazebo now. Try to, anyway. Oh, he's going to be fine. You're going to make it out of here, sir. Trust me. Trust me. You are going to make it out of here. Here we go. The barrel coming out. We're going to push ETC away from Nazebo. You're going to make it. You're going to make it. You're going to make it. Yes, you are. And we take down ETC. We can now re-engage because our health regen is ridiculous. Look at the bottom left side of your screen. Look at our health climbing. Look at it. Oh, my goodness. Our health regen right now, 106 per second. And I can just tank this core and the friendly team can come in and deal their damage. Tell me I can't. Tell me I can't. I'm Chen. I go where I please. Oh, that's ridiculous. So I would say this was a, was a success. Yeah, you're not getting a ton of damage out of Chen. But as far as being a tank, as far as zoning for your team goes, it doesn't get much better than this. We were able to give them all shields in their time of need. And we were able to chase kills down that needed to be chased. 21 to 45,000 siege damage, 27,000 hero damage, and then some mediocre shielding that I still don't think is very accurate at all. That's the build. I think it was a success. Do you like it? Let me know down in the comments. Oh, while you're down there, hit the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, you better subscribe. 
Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.